gals and guys, it's Christopher Bush from MyMediaHelper.com, and uh, this time out, I want to show you an issue that I'm having with uh, Pinnacle Studio. It's basically a rendering issue, so once all this stuff catches up, I'll basically tell you what the, the issue is. So I'm taking, I'm combining a bunch of clips from uh, different media sources, different resolution, um, different... Um, frame aspects and putting them all together into one video and it's freezing my rendering in this program. So what I like to do when I do come up to with issues, um, I do like to make videos out of them of how I um, fix the problem. So as soon as everything stops freezing here, I can show you exactly what's happening. All right, here we go. All ready to render. I'm going to do uh, this, which is normal. I'm just going to do the defaults. Uh, all right, we'll just name this. Uh, it doesn't really matter what I name it. I can change it afterwards. I'm just going to start export. Turn off the beaten path. Does it already exist? Do you want to overwrite it? That's fine. And then, all right, I'm going to let it do its thing. It's okay, Indiana Jones kind of deal. It's actually geocaching. You have to go into a tunnel to get the coordinates uh, for the geocache, if you're if you know anything about geocaching, and then you take those coordinates and then you come out side and then you look for the cache, which we never did find, but um, that's neither here nor there. And uh, okay, so here we come to the next video, and this was filmed with my phone. The first one was filmed with an HD, a Sony HD camera, which was fine. This was filmed with um, my camera, so as you can see, I filmed it. Straight up, what is that? Horizontal, <laughs> up and down. Um, so as you can see, this is fine. I filmed it the wrong way. I should have turned the camera, but anyways, not a big deal. It's a very pretty place. This is in, uh, this is a, um, a Tibetan or reproduction. I don't think it's a reproduction. It's a Tibetan um, temple in Rush, New York. It's very pretty. So if you happen to be in Western New York, uh, it's a little find off the beaten path. All right, so we're going in transition to the next um, cut. And then that's when I turn the camera the other way, horizontally. And that's where it freezes. So the different resolutions, different frame rate, different... Um, Different different video types. So that's where it freezes, and that's where I am stuck. So I'm going to try to find out a fix to this. And once I do, we will continue the video. All right, so the fix for this was um, super simple, or the fix that I found was super simple. Uh, I'm just going to grab this over here. And I went to this website, video2edit.com, um, just to re render the two clips uh, that I found issue. So I went through and scrubbed through just to find out where it was freezing each time. And it was just two particular clips. It was that cat one we saw in the beginning. And then this particular one right here, just this walk, um, this plank walkway, it will load up in a minute. So I took both those clips and I just put them in here. And as you can see, these are already rendered. These are the ones I rendered. So just find the clips among your videos to render, uh, you can do, if you sign up for this, you can do five for free at once. So I left it in default. I left all these in default the way they were, and I'll just show you here. We'll just do one. Uh, let me find a short one here. This is pretty short. All right, it will load up very quickly. And while that's doing that, um, I also tried um, Windows. Movie maker, video editor, whatever you want to call it here. And it's also stuck at the same place. So using another video didn't help me. I'm sure if you use like um, Adobe Premiere, uh, it's a much more sophisticated program. You can correct it. But I wouldn't want to spend a lot of time on this. And so this is the issue. This is the uh, fix that uh, worked beautifully for me. And all right. And then you're going to start. All right, it's going to process through and convert. Shouldn't take too long. And while that's doing that, I'm going to come over here. 
And let's see. So I'm going to take this clip, put it directly above that clip. I'm going to get rid of these um, transitions for now. Move. Oops, I don't want to do that. Remove. Okay. And I'll go back to the beginning of this clip. I'm just going to get rid of this. Delete. So I'm going to put that in its place. I'm going to go back here and just put the transitions back in. And there's the other one. Okay. And then we're going to render through again, and I'll show you exactly um, how that's going to happen. I'm going to put test two, just to test everything out. I'm going to let that render through. And while that's doing that, I'm going to come back here. All right. So you're just going to download that clip to wherever you want. And then just as I just did, you just replace the clip. And then let's check the rendering here. Okay, there's the bull transition. And so that corrected that. Now we need to go to the, the other one that was giving me issue, which I'll show you in just a second. All right, and this is the other one that was giving me a problem. So this is a um, park in Webster, New York, off of Route 250, I believe, on the corner of Route 250 and Lake. And there's a bunch of abandoned cars there. Um, some have deteriorated to nothing, like this one still around. If you look like it looks like a something from the 50s, it just looks like it was dumped there and abandoned there. I don't know if those bullet holes are from when they dumped it or people just shot at it after the fact. All right, we'll see if this transition. So that transition went through. So those are the two trouble spots that I have. And now this is gonna this video is gonna render all the way through for me. All right, so I hope that helped everybody. And if you have a different fix for me, certainly put it down in the comments. This is the one that I found very, very quickly. <clears throat> it worked for what I needed it for and um, just made all the videos, frame rapes, and everything uh, the same. So I'll have the link for that uh, website below and utilize that. And as always, please, if any of my videos are helpful, certainly. Uh, subscribe. Do need subscribers in order to monetize my videos, and that would be awesome. Uh, please like, share, and hit the bell below to get updates on my videos. And beyond that, gals and guys, I thank you very much as always. I appreciate you very much as always, and I will talk to you later!